first place. Um, but there is a New York team that is the front runner for Tre Trevor Lawrence right now. Uh, that is the New York Jets, who are an absolute mess. Mm -hmm. 0-6. They were shut out yesterday by the Miami Dolphins. Um, they are 0-6 against the spread. So for my gambling folks, that means they, they're not even competing. If you're betting against them, whether you're taking the line, whether you're just taking an outright win, you're winning money no matter what. Trip, mm -hmm. what is taking so long for them to fire Adam Gase? And also, we saw Le'Veon Bell released earlier this week. We're going to get into more of that. But what do they do with Adam Gase? Do they keep him around? Do they just tank with them? What, what should they do at this point? You know what? Normally, I'd be like, all right, he he, he should have been out of here three weeks ago. This thing ain't working. Um, you know, and I, you know, I'm not going to put the blame on anybody for the Jamal Adams situation, but he is probably top three at safety position in this league and somebody that, you know, I would have loved to see the Jets hold on to. You know what I mean? Um, but Again, now we come back to the season. You start 0-6. It's ugly. But I think at this point, you know what I mean? We're taking for Trevor. So you might as well let Adam Gates keep keep messing up and ride this thing out. And at the end of the season, get him up out of there. Because obviously they, they ain't making the playoffs. So, you know, get him up out of there. And then you start fresh and you pick up Trevor Lawrence, Trey Sam Darnold. You know, maybe you can get another first-round pick uh, a, a little bit later on in, in the draft. And you gotta just you, you gotta go from there. Um, it's 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 ugly right now. And 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 again, I don't you know I don't want to you know it's, this is it's not a, a, a stab at Sam Darnold because I think Sam Darnold has has been okay, um, but he literally has nothing to work with. But if you got you know you got Trevor Lawrence coming right up the gate and shout out to him he uh, four touchdowns in the first half this past weekend. Uh, they put up it was seventy three to seven was the final score in uh, in, in in that Clemson game. I think they playing up uh, was it Georgia Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, but it, again, you know, he's one of those guys. He's the he's the he's the Joe, the, the Joe Burrow. You know, the Deshaun Watson. He's one of those guys where Sam Darnold is is okay. He may even be good. He may even get to a Pro Bowl. Um, but you know, you got a generational talent at the quarterback position coming up. Um, so, you know, he's, he's going to have to go, you know what I mean? I mean? You could try to keep him, but I, but if you, if you're bringing in, uh, you know, Trevor Lawrence, then you're going to need something to go along with him. He's going to need a wide receiver to throw to a running back, something, you know, again, like you mentioned, Le'Veon is out of there. So he's going to need something. Um, they've, they've picked up pieces along the offensive line. So maybe offensive linemen, you know, another offensive lineman to go along with Trevor Lawrence, if they wind up going in, in that direction. Uh, but yeah, but, but you, by this point, you might as well just keep him. We, every, we, we know he's horrible. We, he ain't turning this thing around, but I don't think nobody's going to come in and turn this thing around for the Jets. So ride it out to the wheels fall off, take for, for Trevor. And then next season we coming out fresh, Whole new mentality. This is this, and look at this as the, the the COVID throwaway season for you guys. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think the Jets had any plan at all, um, and it started from the draft. We we talked about it. We did the live episode during the draft. Uh, we did the first round, obviously, and and we were in discussion throughout the second and third round um, as we watched both our teams make selections. And one of the things that stood out to me was, again, young quarterback on his rookie deal going into his third season. And they got him absolutely no weapons through the draft. Denzel Mims, who was a second round pick, has not produced at all. Makai Becton has struggled as a project or offensive lineman. And we kind of knew that was going to happen when he came in. But when you really take a deep dive into the draft and you look at the amount of playmakers that the Jets passed over, when the Jets took Makai Becton in the first round, they passed over CeeDee Lamb, Jared Judy, Harry Ruggs, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, right? In the second round, Jonathan Taylor. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Chase Claypool with Pittsburgh, uh, DeAndre Swift with Detroit. I've just named you eight rookie playmakers who are all making an impact on their team. Yep. And if they're not starting, they're key pieces of those teams. And yet somehow the Jets went through two rounds of the draft and didn't get one of those guys. Yeah. And we were both so, wondering why they didn't pick up a wide receiver. Right, right. So they did themselves and their quarterback a big disservice in not getting him the weapons. And I agree with you. I think you hold on to Gates and you say, you know what? It's as bad as it's going to be. We're not going to compete for the division anyway. We're not competing for a playoff spot. So let's ride this thing out. And if we finish the season 0-16 or 2-14, and so be it. 
we're going to draft Trevor. And I think if they hold on to Adam Gates, it's a telltale sign that they are drafting Trevor because the new head coach is going to come in. No, no shade to, to Sam Darnold. The new head coach is going to come in and is going to say, why shouldn't I just draft the guy I really want? Why should I get stuck with your guy? We saw it in Arizona when they had Josh Rosen, right? Mm-hmm. New head coach comes in and says, no, nah, no, nah, Kyler Murray's my guy. So Josh Rosen, y'all can trade him. Y'all can release him, do whatever you want to do with him. Exactly. Kyler Murray's my guy. So the same thing's going to happen in New York. And, and just from an analytical standpoint, if you're the Jets, it's the smartest thing to do. We know that the best teams in the league if you look through the best teams in the league right now, and if you look through the last 20 years, the best teams are able to get a good rookie quarterback who's on a rookie deal and fill out the rest of the roster with veteran pieces that make perfect sense. So that's what you need to do if you're the Jets. You take Trevor Lawrence and you worry about allocating those funds to other areas so that he doesn't struggle the same way Sam Darnold just struggled. Right? Exactly. Also, as you mentioned, Trevor Lawrence, big numbers. He continues to have big numbers. Uh, this is a guy who won a national championship as a true freshman. He is considered by most the best quarterbacks to come out of the draft since Andrew Luck. So that means over the last eight to 10 years, they haven't seen a guy better than him. It's a no brainer. If you're the Jets, you shouldn't even be trying to compete. I, I think you lay down for the rest of the, you, you basically lay down for the rest of the season and you say, I don't care how ugly this things get, this thing gets Trevor Lawrence is our guy next year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, it just, it just, it just, it just really makes the most sense. Um, you know, you got, you got to do it. And, they need it. They 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 need an energy boost because I mean, I mean I can't remember when the Jets were were really good. Uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm just looking back for when they was decent. At least. Right. I'm trying to go back to to them being being decent. Um, you know, but it, 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 even and even though you know I mean you guys know I'm a Giants fan, but you know I don't like I don't want them to be all the way in the in, in the double. I at least want them to to to, to be a low somewhat you know competitive. You know what I mean? They they still are, uh, you know, a New York team. You know, the stadium is in, is in uh, Jersey, um, but yeah, man. Uh, you know, we 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 gonna have to wait and see. But I I think he 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 stays with them until the end, and then he's up out of there. And Trevor Lawrence is the new guy with the new coach. Sam Darnold is on his way out. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 